Good evening everyone, Abyss for the Codes here and hope you have a good Christmas tomorrow. So for my last video of the year, we're going to show the, the deck I came second with at my very last local for 2023, uh, Fire King Tri Brigade. So um, I just want to put this over the Domatica variant today because I think it's got more going for it. It's got more disruptions, it's got a higher, a higher ceiling. Also, it's, you're much, it's much easier to get to the engine than it is in Dogmatica because you can send a kit, you can destroy a kit with Grunix. And it worked out because I came second today in the final event, going, uh, only, losing, only losing to uh, Haisha Yu Gi Oh's uh, virtual world deck in the finals. So uh, let's take a look. Start things off. We have a cut. We have a uh, three Ponics. Uh, this is the one of the best starters I've seen in years. Uh, bit, on someone you can add a five key fire trap. So if you don't have it, you can get the back. You can get the sanctuary to extend your plays. If you already have the sanctuary, you can get. The removal spell for another piece of disruption. Uh, this is one of the best starters we've had in years, because because of the nature of Fire King is only going to get you your combos going. It's so easy to protect as well with cards like Kirin, which quick effect can can destroy monsters summon itself. Uh, so what you can do is you can summon this if they if they ash it you can then chain this, pop the Grunix, pop the uh, not Grunix the Ponix, and then you have both Ponix and a Kirin on the field. For a rank 8 play. Um, in addition to this, Ponix will come back up next time if they destroyed, and Curing when destroyed will let you push someone another Viking from your hand or, or graveyard, so giving you recursion for the next turn and further extension. And finally, and then for the new ones, we also have two Grunix. I'm only playing two of this because uh, it's so easy to get out with things like Viking Island and, uh, th and, th and things like that, so you only need two of it. Um, this is the boss of the deck, obviously. He Considering himself when a card is destroyed, uh, which by the way means you can, um, which means you can steal Viking Island, get into your hand, and then immediately summon him, making rank eight players really easy in this deck. And when he's summoned, you can pop another fire from the deck, and give himself a point, a public who could have the monster's points. So you could send another Viking, get their effects off, but in this deck, you're more likely to send Kit, which will then send um, Neverall, which will then get your officers to. Um, um, the, the, sorry, his name is gone by a second. Keras, like that was it. And then what you can do is, if you pick it like a normal summon, because you've special summoned these two, you can then normal summon the Keras, and from there you can just go um, into your usual tribal give plays and then into a, into a link four. In addition, because most of the deck are beasts and beast warriors, if you have normal summoned the Ponix, for example, you can just discard one of them to get the Keras on the board, so it comes from then. And for the rest of the Fire Kings, we have two Atrava, one Rang one Rangball, and one Barong. So Barong, when destroyed, can give us a certain next summer phase, again giving us um, either follow-up for the next turn or interruption in the form of Kirin, because you can because Kirin has a quick place, so, so you can just destroy a monster to its effect to prevent an opponent's ability. Uh, this is a Spell Trap Negate, and this one destroyed is a Reborn, so we can obviously build our board to get into more rank 8 or link plays. Uh, so that's the monster line of the Vikings. For my tri brigade, I had one Keras, triple Fractal, triple Kit, and a Nerval. Now, I, to be honest, I'm not sure if I can keep this ratio in the future. Oh, alright, yeah, one a Revolt. So, um, the kits I really liked because, like I said, they're not only really, the good ways to get tri brigade plays going, but you can send them off with Grunix, so you essentially have five kits in the deck. Um, because of this, though, I don't think three was necessary because, again, there's so many ways you can get this off. With Fractal, you've got three Fractal, you've got two Garunix. Um, so many ways to get this off, so I think I might cut this to two. Um, also, uh, Nerval is a, a one was a bit iffy because if I drew it, it meant it was, it meant it was really good to try to get lines fully. I had to, I had to do different plays. So I might cut this and play a second Nerval in the decks in the future, but we'll see. So yeah, what the Tribal Gear to do is, what I said with, with with the Fire Kings is they can um, you manage cards from your grave, including all your Fire Kings, so all Beasts and Beast Warriors, and make uh, powerful Link 2s. They can end up on a board with a lot of disruptions, along with their trap here, which can special summon cards from the grave and banish, to make a, and then make a quick Link. So what you can do is you can go through a lineup and make an Appaloosa with a Garunix, uh, then you play this. Uh, once you've gone through your in the gates, you activate this. You get back this, this, and other beast boys. I mean, beast of your choice. The rest doesn't matter. 
you make a shirag for, an, for a banish, you get a dumb banish search, and possibly a, a fight king effect, depending on what you're using. And then you have a bit of disruption and a follow up if that card is destroyed because it'll bring back, because you're likely at least one banished uh, monster, which means you can get a Ponyx next turn to go again. I generally think, I've tried this under the variant and this engine is so much more powerful in this deck in my opinion. It gives you much more options for disruption, it's much easier to see, and it still does a lot with the rest of the deck. So if you, if you, don't, want, if you, if you don't want to spend 300 quid on the uh, DBL style line, uh, this is definitely the version I would go with. Uh, next for our Fire King spells, uh, I've chosen to go Double Sanctuary, one Island, and one Vern. Uh, again, these are, these are searchable, you don't need to... I think in the future I possibly play a second island, just in case, but because of the, because after turn one the Tribal Gate engine is a big part of the deck, um, I didn't think we needed to go more than more than one, and I wanted to give this deck a decent card limit. So basically what this does is this card will search your, your island so you can start making your plays. It will protect the island by popping a monster so you get your protection and an effect, and it gives you a quick XC, meaning you can make the Viking XC and get a quick play, da a quick play uh, Rageki with backward destruction. Uh, this card, it will both get you started in a pinch, because you can summon a Fire King from your hand on an empty field, or it can pop a Fire from your hand at a Fire King to get your players going, because it can pop a Fire King for its effect, it can pop a Kit for its effect, and in the worst case scenario, you can pop your Ash to get going. And um, Fire King Skyburn, it is a quick play removal spell. You can pop a Fire King, a bit Fire King of Kings as you want. And that then we can your opponent's control, so it can get two to three and a bunch of effects. And it's protection in the graveyard, you can buy a treat a monster. Uh, you don't want to play more than one of this though, because it's suitable with Ponyx. And after you've gone, got this set up with the first turn, any future Ponyxes, you can, can search this. Uh, then we have double Tanky, uh, and double copies of Talents. Um, I chose to play this because with Grivet Dex in my local screen, be powerful with Unchained and Tear running around. I figured there'd be a lot of crows and stuff around going for my Garudix and stuff, so this is a way that I can try to get back if that does happen. It also lets me take, a, take a control of big monsters that the opponent control for an easy way to OTK. This, of course, gives access to either engine. You can get us a Fractal, you can get us a good Fire King to get us going, especially if you've got Fire King on the board. Also, the 100 points, it doesn't come up often, but a couple of times where a couple of hundred extra points can really push through for a game. Uh, then we have the Triple Prosby, which I am so glad did not get touched on the last ban list. Uh, you, you're rather going six cards deep with this. You're just going to get rid of um, extra copies of Link Monsters and XCs you don't need. Uh, this, this, is, this is really helpful if you want to find one of your engines. Like if you open up a bunch of Fire Kings, this can help you find a Fractal. Or any other fire kit, or any other uh, trabiate to go with your links, and vice versa. This isn't mandatory in this deck. You could play. You could cut this if you wanted to. It's still very consistent. But if you can get this, I definitely recommend it. Uh, next up, one for one because Ponix and Neverall are both one, level ones. And so you want to the can help you start, start, start the trabiate line. Uh, and for the hand traps in main, we have three ash and three imperms. I chose to play these, I thought, that, I thought they could be the best possible spread in matchups. It can shut down searches and field spells, it can stop uh, Rescue Ace, it's getting, its, um, getting the card that's at 4. Um, if you're if it, if it, if it much more graveyard focused with more Unchained and Tear, obviously I would say play Crows, play Bells, that kind of stuff. But again, this, this is completely method dependent. Also, if you don't want to have, have these, I want to play these. You could just play something like a draw lock bird or again a crow if you wished. And that was the main. Moving on to the extra deck, we have one uh, Almirage. You, this is to get Ponyx into the graveyard if necessary. It can protect many of your monsters in a pinch, but you're really, really going to do this if your turn hasn't gone well. For the link for the Tribal Gates, one Bebrum, one Rugal, one Ferrigite, and two Shirags. So, um, the bad one's obviously the best one because it can search us the Revolt Trap to get our play going next thing with Shurag. Um, uh, Baron Blossom here can get some of the on the board to, to continue the link climb. I can I can fix our hand if we open up more pulls or something or a brick. Um, this is obviously our big finisher because when he summoned, he banishes, when he's in the graveyard, he can get us back on monster. Uh, but this is what I want to talk about because it doesn't seem very much. 
I put this in my other Traviate lists and I like it because it's another way to help with the grind along with things like Ponyx and uh, Shirig. Because you can bring back um, Tri Brigades and then at the end of the turn they go back to your hand. So you can either bring back something like Fractal and the next turn also make, make another Tri Brigade play. Or if necessary, you can get something like this back or something like uh, this back and Link Climb again next turn. So yeah, I really like this card in the deck, but if you don't, you don't have to play it. Uh, then we have for the rest of the links, uh, Appalooza. This is really easy to make. It's usually two, it's usually three or four negates. Uh, one Underworld Goddess, which I'm very glad I played because I came up against Gold Pride round two. And this is a really good way to deal with a uh, card like the Synchro that can't be destroyed in most ways. Uh, again, this is one that, extent, that is definitely more optional. You could play um, um, Little Knight if you have one or something like that. But I really like this card. And one access code from Green Second, yeah, it's still the rest OTK enabler. Uh, finally, of course, we have the IP and Unicorn. Again, SP Little Knight's definitely better, but I ain't paying that money for that. And this is still good disruption. This can also go into um, White Woman Jump Scare on your opponent's turn, so it gives you no disruption that way. And finally, for the XCs, um, I haven't got Typhon at the moment, so I played a Zeus. <laughs> <coughs> But also this could be any XC, and in fact I probably wouldn't play Zeus again because it sends, not destroys, so it doesn't trigger off your Fire King effects. Um, obviously Typhon's the ideal pick, pick, but you could also play um, something like Hope Harbinger, the Orcus level 8, something like that, so it rank 8, something like that. Uh, also, something before I forget, um, if you don't want to play this, you could play Double Dragon Lords for the disruption. And finally, 2.2 2, Greenix and 1... Number 38. I picked number 38 because uh, Runic is quite popular in my locals right now and it can also disrupt field spells and that, and that also protects your board from attacks. Um, this is obviously our this is obviously our best XC in the deck because it's it can be made on your opponent's turn with the sanctuary, because if you have the two materials, sanctuary can summon this thing quite some summons. So you can basically um, dark all the board. Which I'll admit can be a bit risky if you're playing against something like, again, like Tear or Unchained, but if you're playing something, against something like Rescue Ace or something Rogue, like Virtual World, this is really good. And you can attach materials to so pop back row, you can have you do with field spells or something like that. And when it's done to the graveyard, you can bring back material for the number of material it has. So if you just dark all the board to get the material when it dies from either an opponent or your own Viking effect, which you can trigger with things like Kirin, you can get back two level eights. And either push them more damage or have another one of these set up for next turn. And that's the deck for the main. Let's look at that. Um, I really like this deck. Like I said, I think I make a few changes to deck for deck. And I probably changed the ratios of the tribe gates a bit. Um, but otherwise, I really enjoyed it. Now going to the side deck. Uh, most of this is other hand traps. We have three nibs, three ghost spells, and three draw and lock birds. Again, this is for different in the matchup. Like you bring a nib against the Castira deck that's in my locals. Um, you bring in this against um, Branded or against Tear or anything like that. And this, of course, for Monadium, Virtual World, things like that, things of that, 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 that nature. And then for the final cards in the side, triple evenly matched for the board decks. And for going first, we have Solemn Judgment because um, sometimes, are, sometimes you don't need to make hand going first, so you set them up for this. Usually I'll set out Ash for this because then I go Imp him and this, which means. If I'm going first, I can set them both for to touch on my bonus turn. Thank you all for thank and uh, that's it. Now if we can give you guys a quick update. Um one, this will be my last video of the year. Uh the next the video on Fire Seven should come out in January, it's hopefully soon. But also this will be the last video for the most part you'll see off of this phone camera. Because I'll be getting a video camera soon. And my videos like this and vlogs from locals will be coming in we'll be coming on that in the future. So thank you everyone for watching this year. I hope you have a good Christmas and I'll see you guys next year.